Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be sharing my thoughts on what to major in to become a dentist and my personal experience with majors during my years as an undergrad student. My name is Connor and I'm a second year dental student studying at Roseman University's College of Dental Medicine. If you haven't seen my video about answering the question why I wanted to become a dentist, that will either be linked up here or here. I don't know which side it appears on, but covered my bases, so we'll call it good. If you have seen that video and can answer the question why you want to become a dentist, you might be trying to decide what major to pursue so that you can graduate and apply to dental school. Choosing a major can seem like a really big commitment, especially if you are trying to choose a major while you're applying to college, or if you're a freshman and you just don't really know what you wanna do. The average college student changes majors three times before graduating. So if you're feeling uncertain about what to major in, hopefully you'll find this video helpful, especially if you are a pre-dental student or are interested in pursuing dentistry. To get straight to the point and answer the question of which major should I choose, if I want to become a dentist, the answer is, it doesn't matter. There are kids that I know who majored in everything from English and Korean to engineering and biochemistry and the classic exercise science or biology or microbiology. In order to expound upon how much it doesn't really matter, I'll share my personal experience in the different majors that I had selected and what I ultimately got my degree in. I started college not really certain of what major I wanted to pursue, but I knew that ultimately I wanted to become a dentist. As long as I had a good GPA and took all the prereqs, it wouldn't really matter what I got a degree in. So I thought I would choose something that would be interesting and enjoyable while also still having some application to dentistry or the dental field. And in talking with one of my cousins who had graduated with a degree in manufacturing engineering, that sounded like something that was really interesting. The classes that he took sounded super cool and I saw how certain topics in this degree could be applicable to the field of dentistry, specifically lean manufacturing or lean practices, you know, having a, an organization that runs super efficiently and eliminates as much of the unnecessary cost and waste as possible. So my first declared major was manufacturing engineering technology. I took four semesters of these classes towards that degree, along with knocking out some of my generals. And in that fourth semester, I took a class that was the bane of my existence. No matter how much time I spent studying or getting help in the TA lab, the material just would not click. And I remember taking that first test and walking out just feeling horrible, and rightly so. I absolutely bombed that test, and I actually ended up withdrawing from that class. I wasn't sure if this major would help me in being a strong applicant to dental school, because the math classes were the classes that I was struggling with, and it was doing some pretty severe damage to my GPA. That, along with knowing dentistry was my end goal and not anything to do with manufacturing engineering, I ultimately decided to start thinking about and changing my major. After doing some thinking about a major that would be interesting to me and still applicable to the field of dentistry, I ultimately decided that I would apply to one of the programs in the business school. And so I changed my major to pre-business or whatever was required in order to take the prerequisite courses and apply to the business school. I took those classes and really enjoyed my prerequisites and briefly considered not pursuing dentistry and actually doing accounting. Just call me Bond, Municipal Bond. 
but I realized that I didn't want to be an accountant. I'm really sorry, but I, I just don't want to do this. I need to move my life in another direction. And still wanted to pursue dentistry. So I took all of those classes and did pretty well in those classes and really enjoyed them. But upon applying to the business school, I was not accepted and once again, found myself at a crossroads of not being able to pursue this degree and having that degree not really contributing towards me ultimately becoming a dentist. And so again, I found myself thinking and trying to figure out what major I should pursue so that I could be a good applicant for dental schools. And finally, you know, this was after another year, I decided that I just wanted to crank out the prereqs for dental school, get a degree, I could still get a minor in business and finish college in a reasonable amount of time. And so I switched to the classic exercise science degree, which that along with biology or microbiology it's kind of one of the two super traditional majors chosen by pre-professional students. With my newly declared major of exercise science, I cranked out the dental school prereqs and enjoyed a lot of those classes while building a good foundation, which would serve me well in dental school. I took a lot of anatomy and physiology classes, which I really, really enjoyed and prepared me really well for those courses in dental school. And I did complete all the courses necessary for me to get a minor in business, which will be somewhat helpful in at least having things like financial statements not be so foreign once I get into practice ownership. From my experience, you can see that it really doesn't matter what you end up getting a degree in as a dental school applicant. As long as you have a good GPA, take the required courses for applying to dental school and find time to volunteer or do research and shadow and have a good DAT score, it really doesn't matter what your degree is in. Study the things that you're passionate about and that excitement and passion will show through in your personal statement as well as in the rest of your application and in your interviews. It will be so much easier to talk about these experiences because they'll be experiences that you loved and enjoyed. Hopefully you found something useful in this video. If you know anyone who is a pre-dental student or is interested in pursuing dentistry and is uncertain what to major in, share this video with them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos and go follow me over on Instagram so you can catch my clinic recap stories where I share what I'm doing in the clinic on a daily basis as a second year dental student.